Hello and welcome to a look at the money market yield with me Andy Duncan here at finlingo.com. Before watching this video if you're unsure about the holding period return you might want to watch our video on that detailed in the show notes because the money market yield is based squarely upon the holding period return. Assuming that you're good with that then let's get going. The money markets mostly deal in paper IOUs with simple face values to be delivered in less than a year. People buy and sell these IOUs for less than the face value and the difference the difference between the two numbers is the potential profit if the IOU is honoured at the end. Here we've got investor Sean who's paying $84.72 for a Finlingo Bank Certificate of Deposit which is going to deliver $100 in 191 days time to whoever presents it to the bank. To figure out a return we could just do a simple holding period return. The holding period return equation is usually this. So the holding period is equal to the end value plus the income minus the initial value divided by that initial value. The equation does usually hold that term for the income, such as for share dividends and for bond coupons. But fortunately, most money market instruments are just discounted IOU instruments without any cash payment along the way. So with the money market yield, we can usually ignore the income term in the holding period return. So that makes our HPR 100 minus 84.72. This is then divided by 84.72 and that gives us 0.1803588 or approximately 18.04%. But this fails to take into account any notion of time. The difference between the 100 and 84.72 is $15.28 and this is Sean's profit. But it would be better to make 15.28 in 10 days rather than in 191 days. And it is still better to make 15.28 in 191 days than it would be to make it in 287 days. Here's where the money market yield helps us compare one potential investment to another over time. Here's the equation. The money market yield is equal to the holding period return multiplied by 360 divided by the time to the maturity of the investment. So in our case that's 0.1803588 multiplied by 360 and divided by 191 which is 0.339943 or approximately 33.99%. The only tricky thing to remember is that we always use 360. This is rather than 365 or 366 in a leap year. Why? Because the money markets have been around for a very long time. And back in the days of marking up prices on blackboards with chalk, it was much easier for everyone to pretend that there are 360 days in a year. This gives us 90 days in a quarter, 180 days in six months, and 270 days in nine months. And this is much, much easier easier for back of the envelope mathematics. And that's why the ancient Babylonians themselves put 360 degrees into a circle rather than 365 to make all their astronomical calculations much easier. Go the Babylonians! So that's the method. Get the holding period return, then annualize it with a 360 day year. Remember those Babylonians. They had money markets too, but their early money was grain and they needed nice round numbers to make all the wheels go round. Getting back to the example, let's run it through a cunning Excel spreadsheet to make sure we got all the numbers right. So it's 100 for the end value and 84.72 for the initial value. This gives us a holding period return of approximately 18.04%. Now we input the time to maturity of 190 days and this gives us the expected money market yield of 33.99%. Notice if we change the time to maturity to just 10 days we get a whopping 649% return though we do still have the same holding period return and if we change the time to maturity to 287 days again we get the same holding period return but the money market yield drops to a measly 22.62% and that's hardly worth getting out of bed for. Now let's try an example on finlingo.com to really get a handle on these two equations. Note down the numbers, then slot them into the equations to figure out the money market yield. Now check the result on Finlingo. Select it and move on. Head over now to finlingo.com to try an infinite number of yield questions until you've got all four main types burned into your brain. Also take a look at our playlist for these four yields to learn about the other three as well as the money market yield. Finlingo. Speak finance fluently.